you can all hear me now. The CVO trike. I wanted one. Said so in a couple of weeks ago. The Softails could probably use a CVO line. You know, a CVO model. I think the Touring line could stand a drop one. Last year they offered a limited a road glide and a street glide. They could probably drop one of those. Maybe even add a trike. My sales guy Danny, he's determined for them to have a CVO trike. Now we got one. I actually want a road glide trike probably more, but you know, take what you can get. Um, also wanted a, well, I also expected that they would lessen the CVO line. And yes, the CVO road glide is gone for the 2020 model year. Well, we've added the trike and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about it. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Max. I'm a highly trained unprofessional right here at Chattahoochee Harley-Davidson. And on this channel, I bring you guys to work with me. So if you want to learn more about Harley-Davidson, you should hit the subscribe button right now. All right. I'm going to have the website help me out because quite frankly, I just can't remember anything right now. <laughs> uh, there's two colors. There's kind of a lighter version and darker. The darker is Black Stardust with Magnetic Gray and Wicked Red, which I actually like that version more. I think because the headlights that come on both models are like the Heritage Softail. You might know that I have a Heritage Softail. And I like the LED headlights and passing lamp design, especially that blacked out look. The darker one has the blacked out ones, the lighter one has the lighter uh, ones. The lighter color is Blizzard White Pearl with Lightning Silver and Storm Cloud. That's a name right there, buddy. Let me tell you. It's a 117 cubic inch Milwaukee 8 engine and it is the biggest that Harley's ever put on a trike, uh, which is good because it's the heaviest model that they have at a whopping 1,239 pounds. So yeah, they could use that. Uh, I actually haven't really been able to get a lot of B-roll shots or really even gotten a close look at the trike because, well, it's actually kind of still in the show. There's been people around it the entire time I've been here. Well, I really like the wheels on it. I don't know how else to say it. They're bigger than the OG trike. I think it's an 18 inch rear and a 19 inch front. I bet I can find it on my fancy page though. It does come with the new HD Connect service, the app that you might have seen. It's pretty cool. Monitors your battery level and your tire pressure. Probably the most important things to me, uh, mostly because it will alert you if they go low and in the service department, those are things that I see all the time. So it's kind of cool if your bike's been sitting for a couple weeks through winter, your little phone will ding and it'll, you'll know that your tire pressure is getting low. It does also have some other features. Uh, I should probably do a video on that all by itself. I'll look into that. Uh, it does have the RDRS system standard. It's the new Reflex Defensive Rider systems. Another thing for another video probably, but basically traction control and ABS and linked brakes and the TPMS system is all kind of bundled into this package. A lot of tech that Harley has finally come out with after all these years, it's standard on the CVO trike. Actually, I think it's standard on the regular trike too. Uh, future me, can you help me out a little bit? Yeah, what Future Me said. It is decked out with the GTS radio, of course, but it's also decked out in Kahuna grips and footboards and uh, even the brake pedal pad, as a matter of fact. You know, standard CVO stuff. It also has power locking and trunk and tour pack. They're calling the wheels Tomahawk Contrast Cut Wheels. And I was right about the 19 inch front, 18 inch rear. Seems I have been listening. The seats are actually heated. Uh, it actually has a, a lumbar support thing built into it. I, maybe that's the heated part. I don't really, I don't understand. But it is still slotted for a rider backrest. So you could potentially have a ton of back support. That's the word. It is all chromed out, which is probably okay since it's the older crowd that would be getting the CVO trike, I think, whether they want to or need to or just they're the ones that can afford it, probably, maybe. I mean, hey, if you can afford a $48,000 trike and you want one and you're 30 years old, by all means, you do you. It does have the whim, comes with the wireless headset, 30K model. I do not know if it comes with one or two. A uh, future video will probably tell me when I get to ride one. I think I mentioned the price was $48,000. I did, I did do that, uh, which 
I'm satisfied with actually, believe it or not. Well, it's 48,999, so really it's 49,000. I really thought it'd be like 60K, so I don't really know why, I just guessed the number. Lots of standard stuff, as all CVOs have, no, no options, it's all there. It's fully loaded, it's ready for you to ride home. I think it's a really good addition to the line personally without getting away from the specs, my own opinion of the model. Why I wanted to see one is there is a group of people that probably need or want a trike that own a CVO now that could use. What, I mean, once you own a CVO, you don't go backwards. So now there's still a top of the line. This is the one, the, this is your last motor cell potentially. And while the millennials might not like it, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to be able to offer some of your customer base. No, it's not for everyone. Do I want one? No, I don't, but it's, you know, I can appreciate those that do want or need one. And I think it's a good model lineup addition. Can we get a Roguelite track next year?